Hey folks, welcome back to Afterwork Gaming. We are here in System Shock. Um, we are still in medical. And this is the area we cleared out in the last episode. Uh, let's just go ahead and loot some things. See if we can loot anything. If these guys have anything we you know, want to loot. And I will also recycle. Recycle. I will then scrap everything in this room. <laughs> That's not nailed down. And then this entrance to beta, which I don't want to go into quite yet. Partly because what I want to do is I want to finish with this room, or I want to, you know, rather deal with this room. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I am just going to use all these cans. No reason to carry them all around. Let's take up space. Um... My optimum laptop. Man, that is a crazy laptop. Uh, encyclopedia. The copy of the Encyclopedia Galactica is out of date and has already been supplanted by another tome that contains the sum total of human human knowledge. Sadly, that book is not available on this station. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a curiosity. We can't, like, siphon energy out of this. We can't recycle actual useful weapons, so okay. Go ahead and vaporize all of these books. Actually healed a pretty decent amount. I'm impressed. A decent amount. They yield four. Uh, tray. Oh. Oh. It's in the box. Ammo. You have nothing. Book? No. Do I have other books here, though? Okay, let's go ahead and vaporize all of this stuff. Yep. Vapor, vapor. Um, okay. So we are here. I do want to get out of here for a second. Oh. It's just a monster closet? Is this what's going on? Soft paneling. Looking at the top of my screen here where it just says, like, what I'm looking at, I guess. Human corpse. Yes, it does. Uh, okay, well, with the understanding that things may have respawned, um, it occurs to me that we never did finish looking through that one corridor in the maintenance tunnels. Not going there. Okay. Like the weapon we can't, you know, recycle. Coins. Now of 83. Pretty good. Come down. Oh no, I'm sorry. There's no reason to come down. So we're going here. Alright. So going in here. I also recognize that I am desperately low on energy. Curiosity. And I'd have to go up the elevator. I don't want to deal with the elevator. I would rather just... Hey. Blood, but, you know, nothing we can't handle. Pity this isn't a recharge coil. Hello, sir. Completed. Okay. 
Also, I turned off uh, motion blur because it was a little distracting. Um... Music, the music is doing the whole there are enemies around thing. Fortunate. Here, a robot noise. I, I respect the skull pile, to be honest. Can vaporize this. Would like a charger, please. Here. we go on, because now the music has calmed down. Climb up. Oh my goodness. Yes, there is a battery, but we're not going to use that, because I would like to keep this in this case of emergencies. Right now, we're not such dire stra in such dire straits. Ever. Alright, I just reorganized my, my weapons a little bit so that the um, spark beam is my anchor. So that if I had the charge, right, bang, 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 zap, 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 and then if I run out, bam, I can just switch quickly with my mouse. Okay. Take that. That is a door, and we're not going to do that yet. Ooh. Look at that. This gives me... I know I keep mentioning System Shock 2, but it definitely gives me System Shock 2 vibes. Do you have anything else besides that? No? Listen to this, and then... I, I, I will say, one of the things I really enjoy about the audio logs, again, imagining System Shock 2, is you can hear the, like, the different storylines play out, like, different people, their lives will intersect, they'll, they'll be like, oh, I saw some people walking over here, or, you know, going over there. Um, but, okay, so, 15, uh, between 15 and 25 damage with a 160 centimeter range, or between 18 and 30 but we lose five centimeters of range. And I think that's a good deal on any day. But let's just keep the wrench. This massive adjustable crescent wrench is used primarily to tighten or loosen connectors. Its weight and size also make it a formidable makeshift weapon in the event of an employee uprising. Uh, sure. <laughs> and now it's used as an odd ad hoc weapon used by, personal, uh, by security personnel. Again, no recycling of existing, you know, effective weapons. Here. Damage. Take it all. Hey, it's one of those mantis guys. That door is open, and where are we here? Okay, well maybe, so this door can open here, 
And then, I mean, maybe there's a way to cross around to the other side and get into that room. Okay, let's go ahead. Check out this side, uh, you know, this door. Also, yes, there's like a little Amy zoomy button. Nope. Yeah, okay. Close that. So, there is some sort of contamination here. We're not going in until we find something to protect us. Because, uh, you know, in a game like this, there's no way they would set up these areas. And that other room that we found with the radiation. Um. Is that the things respawn? Hello. Bonk. Hmm. You're getting a little stutter, my apologies. Was gut wrenching. Ha ha ha! You get. Alright, fine. What do you know? Vaporize, vaporize. Um. Yeah, they wouldn't create these areas without giving us some way of dealing with it. All right, so we're done. We're done here. I think we should go back here and get into beta. What do you think? Do that, and let's recharge. Let's first and foremost recharge. We can do that all from our little starter area. Get that done here. Whoa! Alright, I'm right next to a bed. I have terrible aim. I am so sorry. That was... I don't know what that was, but that was awful. Sorry. Ah, uh, well. Live and learn. Also, these guys, you know... Um, he has apparently respawned, so I'm, I'm always going to have ammo. At least some. More so if I go ahead and get this electron, like, recharge myself electronically. Cool. We're back to spark beam now. Charge are we on? We're on high. radioactive. Okay, so let's just go back in the tunnel. I was thinking if there was a way around, but it, at the moment it doesn't look like there is. Alright, we're here. Might as well recycle Only two coins, but that's okay. This is, this is something to keep in mind, though. Um, we put in, like, what? 28, 24, something like that? We only got two coins, so we lost the four scrap. Okay. Well, well, I would do well to keep this in mind. Okay, that goes his head. You have, like... A broken gun for me or anything? No? No, I just exploded your head? That's okay. Likewise. Oh, there you are. This time, we can. Funny. Alright, 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 alright. Now we go in here. It's interesting. I w I'm going to keep an eye on the... Um, the amount of ammunition I have. Because... I, or, or, the amount of power I have. Because it's... Oh, 
Can't just be that it eats one pip. Hey, man. Don't, don't, don't. Okay? Not cool. Assuming that's what that is for. There is one walking over there. Let's see if we can, like, catch him while he's walking through. One of those ducks, you know, at the shooting galleries. There we go. That worked out very nicely. Okay. Go ahead and see if we can do something here. Um, now. How does that... Okay. It adds a pip. Okay. So, this feeds in here. I get it. Okay, so it's it's a it's an interesting thing. So, I noticed this in the last time... In the, from the last video. I just didn't see it until I rewatched the footage. So, you see there's one pip up here. There's two pips up here. My guess... Okay, let's turn this off real quick. Right? Is that... This means every single, each of these lines provides one pip of power. This one goes in here. This one gets routed around, goes back in here. So now these have two pips of power. That's why we have four, right? And this one has two dots here, which means this will give us six. That gives us eight. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're right, because it's two and two, which is four, gives us eight. Okay. And that already gives us too much. Okay, so now we turn this on. This gives us five. One, two. We only need the one. There we go. Okay. All right, we're learning. We're learning. have 13 of these things. It's crazy. Okay. I should I should really start using my health items. Like, it, this happens to me in every game. I start hoarding the items. Okay, see, the, remember um, there was that door that was locked from the other side. Like, it was said that it was locked manually. Well, still locked manually. There it is. That was not the most on the up and up audio message. What's this? First aid kit is designed for single use emergency treatment, sealed inside as a sterile medical syringe containing organic assimilation modules. Rapidly enter the bloodstream, healing radiation and flesh wounds. Cool. Well, I think we can probably replace the stamina up. We don't really use stamina all that much, I don't think. Um, okay. Vaporize the toilet paper. Okay. Hello. Bye-bye. Um, let's... Let's... I thought I saw an elevator over here, so let's just go ahead and flip this over. Oh, I see. Okay, so that goes up. Now we go down. Right. Mm. 
Rad poisoning. Okay, we're not going down there now. Again, we're not going down there without... Let's keep things from going up. Um, we are not going to go down there without a proper... Source of protection. Okay, so there's a battery pack down there. Let me see something. I'm curious whether the radiation happens only when you step onto, like, the glowing squares. You know? And, like, everything else, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just... It, it's literally just the floor is lava, only with radiation. Um... You know what? You know what? I have an idea. Let's flip this to going up. I mean, like, I have enough he healing packs to deal with this if I need to. Then let's just go ahead and... I mean, if we drop down and start taking radiation poisoning, we'll just run to the elevator, basically. Oh. The floor is lava. Okay. Okay. Of course, like a dummy, I just fell down here. What is this? Frag grenade. Instead of, you know, jumping up for the uh, for the power cell, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and see where that where that mutant was. Oh, okay. I am I'm getting the I'm getting the feeling of what's going on here. Think huh. Okay. Well, we can mess around. We we'll, we we know there's a power power cell there. We don't really need it. And I, I'm I'm good without, you know, messing around too much with the uh, with the radiation panels. Again, I'm assuming at some point we're going to get some sort of protection, whether that's a meta patch or, um, you know, a suit or something. Who knows? Oh, I don't really see a suit. You know, maybe there was some sort of I don't know some sort of wear that like purifies our blood. You know, as we keep doing this. Damaged pistol. Yeah. Either he killed himself and got eaten, or he he had a valiant last stand. Box once contained a tasty snack, crushed sna Krakow's box. Delicious snack with almost no nutritional value. Future, there's really not a lot of nutritional value in anything, I suspect. Okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The, even if we had gone around the corner, there doesn't look like there's an easy way to get to the other side where we killed the mutant. Okay. Andrew Barton. Hey, Andrew Barton. This. Little snacks. Toilet paper. That's the one we listened to. Okay. Let's go ahead and vaporize a couple of things. We're not going to vaporize the food. You know, there's a non-zero chance that we might want to take like one or two bites of something if we take minor damage. We're not going to go that direction yet. Toilet. Go ahead and vaporize these. Of course, there are bio bags. 
quite rise. Please. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, I'll loot the I'll loot the room while we're doing this. I'm gonna say you're not safe there. I no, just thought. Um, and I'm assuming the the plan from research is to get that X22 isotope or compound or whatever. Food wrapper. Oh, I get it. Okay. Wow. Okay. So this is this is where they were living. These people that like the survivors that you just mentioned. really depressing thought. Hold on. What's her name? Altea Grossman. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just saying. I know we picked up a couple of A, like, a ID tags with A names. Okay, go ahead and vaporize. Go ahead and vaporize. 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 the story of all the survivors. Um, Scanning. Hearing a rope, like a, a cyborg. I want to try something so badly. This can end terribly for me, but... <laughs> ah! You're down there, and I'm up here. Right? You know what? I here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go downstairs. Um, I'm gonna loot that body, and we're gonna call it there. It is not gonna get better than that right now. This was great. This is this is. I mean, it's not. You know, crazier things have happened in, in immersive Sims, but I love that. I love that I could just ah oh, just drop them. Magnesium tip round. I want to know what those are, and then we're going to call it. Here it is. First of all, let's eat gluttonously. What's that love? What's that want to live gluttonously? Uh, okay, cartridge is highly caustic and will continue to burn after impact causing maximum damage to soft targets. Due to the chemical makeup of the round, it can be used to avoid 
used in the void of space to burn through space suits, ignite the oxygen swirling inside. All right, so they're incendiary rounds, basically. Cool. find, uh, like, a simple way of doing this. Hmm. Still like that. We're running out of inventory space, but at some point I'm just gonna start, you know, breaking down most of this stuff. Okay. Um, I feel like a million bucks. That was great. Dropping that thing into the, into the, into the, like, basement level was... I cannot explain to you how happy I am that I, that that actually worked. There is a way around. Okay, never mind. Um, still, we're gonna call it there. Next time we will proceed this way and see what's over there. Um, I'm assuming. You know what? I'm not assuming anything. I was gonna say I, I thought it was gonna hook around here, but I, I didn't realize it was so far away. So yeah, so we'll explore that area, and we'll just continue on. Uh, in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that uh, I'm doing something right. Let's me know if you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about the game, um, just want to talk about anything to do with System Shock, Bioshock, or any of the other games, or anything in particular, by all means, um, leave a comment, and I will see you all next time.